And what we're going to do, we, we delivered Larry's track bike today. And Luciano, this, this bike's never been driven up and down the street. He's got the carbon fiber parts on it that I made from scratch. The paint, it's one of the ones I painted for him. And we're going to, we just want to hear it go through the gears here. Without the cops, it's still snow on the ground here, of course. That isn't cocaine, guys. That's snow. I know, Ray. I know what you're saying. Snow? What's snow? I know Malcolm said that. All right. So what we want to do is just hear this go by. All our subscribers on YouTube, this is a momentous event. Sounds like it needs plugs. Yeah, it's still cold. Now, I was a, I thought he's gonna do a big wheelie for me or something. Oh man, Luciano, come on. Anyway, we had a great day today. We went up to Larry's, had some fun. Had some fun. We're looking at giving him some suggestions for his workshop. The paint on his bike really looks nice in the sun. I hope I hope if these videos come out the way I want, you can see how nice the paint is. Now, the last time Luciano did what he's doing right now with a bike with no plate, the cop was at the top of the hill and pinched his ass. So we're going to see if, if he doesn't come back in about 30 seconds. We're, oh, he's coming back now without a police escort. That's the first time he's ever ridden it. And that's a bike he picked up very inexpensively. Did some work on a motor. I painted it. What else? I don't know. Made some carbon fiber parts, the tail section that holds the license plate. Got the, the very bright LED tail light from Walmart. $15 tail light with 100 LEDs in it. Sounded like it had a miss in it, but I'm not sure if he put plugs in it or or whatever. Who knows? When you have a bike that new, that's the first time it's ever been ridden on a street. So, as far as I know. So, what's the prognosis? What? How did it feel? Okay. Sounded like it had a miss in it. No, it's a little bubbly. Uh, I got to taste some of the street. You can't even taste it. Has it got old gas in it? No, uh, you have to taste some of the street. But it looks nice. The paint looks great in the sun. Wow. It's a little miso now. Yeah, and it sounds like a, like a two-stroke that needs plugs. Right. Uh, you can see that the pack was sitting for so long. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I can't test it down the street. You have to go on the highway or something. Then you find out. Yeah, sometimes. This is awesome. But it shifted nice, right? Oh, yeah. When I, when I was sitting on it, it was shifting fine. It was great. And then... Uh, then probably the, the, the exhaust is a mismatch with the after tuning. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't, what is this, straight through? No, there's no baffle in there. No, uh, probably the exhaust is, is a little good with this bike, so. Yeah, you probably got to richen it up some too. Yeah, after to, to, to adjust it. And the important thing, uh, tennis, tennis fly, the brakes are flying, and it's flying. Beautiful. Uh, I think it's very annoying, the, the side stand. Yeah, I just I would just disconnect the damn thing. Yeah, you start the bike and then I put the side stand down, the, the motor goes off. Yeah, that's stupid. I like the stripe, the stripe on the tail section. Yeah. That looks nice as you drive by. That really looks nice. I got a chain cover. Oh, you got it? A shiny one or? Yeah, actually, plastic. That's just a part of the chain cover. Uh, to make a special bracket, then I realized that this, oh, this yeah. chain cover comes with the, the rear auger. Right, right, right. I found it. I found the Riager in a chain cover from eBay for 20 bucks. Ah! I can't believe it. So I'm gonna get to put it. That's what. See what I had to do? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, that's gonna be a nice looking bike. Yeah. 